Hi, so I welcome you all to the hack series where we take one particular paper and find out the certain tips, tricks and techniques to clear the paper in a easy way. Today we will be finding the simple techniques. How do you clear your economic loss paper, whether it be EBCL or your ECIPL for the new CA, uh, CS executive subjects, the tricks are the same. Now understand that uh, you know, knowledge is one important thing, but also strategies is equally important where we know where do we put our efforts so that we can score more. So let's see the first trick and let me tell you for the ECIPL or your economic law paper, it's very simple. It's very simple to crack the paper and get good marks. Okay. So the first thing is you can grab the first 25 marks. Your job is to get out of 25. You have to get 20. This is a short, short question that the Competition Act 2002 will come for 25 marks. So out of 25, if you can pull off 20 marks, you definitely clear the paper because rest 20, you will definitely get it. Okay. From the other uh, balance part of the paper. So the first thing is to clear the paper. Okay. So now how, what do I do? So for competition act, you need to study it in depth. I have covered everything. All the links will be shared with you all and also in the video. Remember just before entering the exam, you will study your competition act thoroughly and you will start your paper with it. So when you start with competition act, you revise it, you will remember all the sections and remember they try to make it difficult by asking penalties also. So remember, learn the penalties for competition act also for the new syllabus students. There is one more hack, which is they have added a part B, which is IPR intellectual property rights for 40 marks. Okay. This is for the new syllabus students start learning the comp this 40 marks is given on the platter to you start with this complete it. Your competition act is also a high weighted chapter. These two you do, you are almost clearing your paper. Okay. So the hack one is competition act, super important chapter for new syllabus. One more point is there that complete your part B, which is 40 marks in depth. Now, what is the second hack? The second hack is remember, don't leave even one chapter. Okay. All I'll give you the important chapters list, but remember not to leave any chapter, sir. Why? If, because what happens? There are so many chapters, at least five marks they will ask. So what you need to do, do the past exam questions. The JT scanners are there. It is available to you all. I will share it in the groups and telegram groups. Go through the past exam questions. See how they are framing. Don't leave even one chapter. Even if you plan that you have not studied it, go through the past exam question and the lesson roundup. It is more than enough for it. Okay. Now let's see which are the important chapters for uh, your economic law subjects. So first is FEMA, foreign exchange, your capital account, current account transaction is always, they ask what is compounding, they ask. Then very, very, very important, eight marker chapter EC, uh, ECBs. I have covered it so beautifully in such a short time that you will get shocked. The video links you will see and don't forget to write a comment also. It is so beautifully made, okay? Next is even FDI I have covered ODI also there is an amendment. It was, you know, 20, 2022 new, uh, this was done. I've covered that also. So again, these will come for eight, eight marks consumer protection. I have put it in the important chapters list because five mark question is sure short five to eight marks. Okay. Rara is also a very, very simple thing. Benami transactions again, very predictable, small chapter, high value chapter and FCRA act also all these chapters. Okay. Especially these ones are less technical confirmed. They ask in the exam and they ask for five to seven to eight marks chapters. Okay. These are all high weightage eight marks confirmed. Okay. So all this is covered. All of y'all will get this. So if you just follow your hack one and hack two, you will definitely clear because your entire 80 to 85% of your paper will be consisting of all of this. Next, what is hack three then? 
Now the hack three is to do the amendments because a five mark short shot is there. Now amendment has come in competition act 2023. I told you it's a very important chapter. I have covered the amendments. I have given you the amendment sheets. All you will get it in the disc in the WhatsApp and Telegram groups. Even ECB there there are amendments. It is not covered in your supplement, but I have covered the amendments which are there. Okay, it is applicable for your exams. Even FTP 2023. Now remember. FTP 2023 is really big, but only five marks will come from there. Listen, listen to my video of FTP, FTP chapter. Just note down the points where you can build a five mark answer. I have covered full FTP. Nothing will come outside my video from what I have covered in the marathon. This is a guarantee. Okay. Next is the hack four. So I'm almost done with my hacks because almost 80 to 85 marks I've told you from where it will come. Then hack four is just remember that when they ask situational questions, okay, the format should be facts of the case, issue involved, provision of law, and conclusion. And hack five, okay, so hack five is be a hungry for exemption that is sixty plus marks. Now why, sir? Why like that? So remember, I know that you worked very very hard. I have worked very very hard for you all. Okay, so do it for me. Do it for your parents. Do it for yourself. Okay, you have worked super hard, and I don't think you have done anything in your life for the last few months at all. Anything. So if you've sacrificed so much, you want to get, you know, your results. So stay hungry for an exemption. How do I get an exemption? I have told you the strategies. Okay, your competition act, your part B, very very important. Your important chapters list and not leaving even one chapter. All of this I have provided to you in the amendment sheets, in the marathon lectures, and everywhere else. Okay, so stay hungry, keep me informed. Okay, especially when your paper goes really well, and write exemption in the comment section to train your mind to know what you exactly want. So wish you all all the very best, and I'm sure you will get an exemption. Thank you.